So the Baby Yoda slash the Child slash Grogu Roomba-like animatronic is finally here and it's time to take a closer look at it. Now I will tell you first and foremost, this does require three AAA batteries. Let's talk about the packaging. It is from Disney Parks, but it also is from the company Mattel. And it also has five different modes. It has the follow mode, curious mode, joystick mode, hide and seek mode, and sounds mode. And it also does come with an exclusive pendant. It's the same pendant that Mando gives Baby Yoda. Really cool accessory. All right, let's get this thing out of the package, shall we? I think this opens up like this. Maybe. Hey, there we go. Oh, and we also, <laughs> whoops. He just landed flat on his face there. And now we have the remote, so. Now that we're done with the packaging, let's go ahead and throw all this away. All right, so we have all three pieces. We have the Mandalorian pendant, and we also have the remote, and Grogu himself. I gotta say, first off, I do really like the size of this. I don't know if you guys remember in my Hasbro video, which I'll do a comparison in a moment, but I didn't really like how short he was. This, to me, is the perfect size for a Baby Yoda. The body itself is made out of plastic, however, his head and ears are covered in like a rubber-like material. His hands are made out of plastic and the bottom is also made out of plastic. As you can see, he's got his little wheels so he can run around because that's what he does. He's a remote control. Now he does have a demo mode, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So we'll press the center of his chest here. weird so his arm did this like really jittery thing um, I'm not sure what that's about though I have read that other people are experiencing the same thing I find that kind of interesting I will say off the bat this toy is very very loud but let's see what other things he can do I'm gonna go ahead and pop in some batteries into the remote control and uh, we'll take a closer look at them all right so the batteries are now inside of the remote and also I wanted to show you guys something so he actually has infrared sensors in his eyes. Also, he has one on the back of his head, and I'll get a close-up of this, but that is how the remote control is able to communicate with him. And if we want to switch on Baby Yoda, it's at the very bottom here, so I will try to find it. It's right, right here. So I'll go ahead and turn him on. So he's still on demo mode. So we will switch him on, which is this way and he should be ready to roll. And also we'll go ahead and put on his little pendant just to make him complete. All right, so he is good to go. I'll go ahead and put on the remote. There is a little on button right here. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. I do see a little light in the infrared sensor. So let's go ahead and give him a try. Here we go. Oh, there he goes. He's moonwalking. Oh, he's so cute. That's awesome. So here's a close up of the remote here. Let's go ahead and just press buttons and see what he does. I'm gonna press the purple one at the end here. You see what I'm talking about? You see that hand? That is the strangest thing ever. All right, let's see what the red button does. Oh no, okay, please don't fall. Oh God, okay. What is happening? I think this is curious mode where he just wanders around. Let me catch him here. Cause he's gonna fall, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, hi. Still, so he's definitely in curiosity mode though. He's wanting to fall off my table here, which is not a good thing. Honestly, I'm having a blast just using the remote control version. And he does have a little bit of a walking wobble, which to me is absolutely adorable. I mean, look at this, you can see it. Kind of love making a moonwalk. See, watch this. That's awesome. I love that. So he doesn't completely fall off my table. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the ground and do the follow mode and the hide and seek mode.
but now that we've pretty much seen and talked about all of his features, I wanted to do a quick comparison of all the Baby Yodas that I own, and I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of each toy I have here. We'll start off with the Baby Yoda Hasbro animatronic. So I did a full YouTube unboxing and review of this a couple of videos ago. I will post it in the card. I think it's going to be up here somewhere. So yeah, go ahead and check that out if you want to see a really big in-depth uh, video of this. Personally, I do think this one is the cutest. I really love the mold of his face. I think it looks really adorable. I also think he sounds really well. Uh, all the little baby noises he makes are adorable. They sound nice and clear. And really the only con I have of the Hasbro animatronic is his size. Personally, I do like the size of these two better. Some people are probably going to like the size just for the fact it's easy to travel with. But for $60, I wish he was closer to the size of these two. Next up, we'll talk about the Disney Parks one, the one that we're reviewing in this video right now. And one major pro is the fact that he's able to move around. I find him to be probably the most interactive out of the three. The fact that he has hide and seek mode and follow mode, I can see kids going absolutely crazy for this. Really cool, and uh, I definitely love the size. I think he is the perfect size. I think the biggest con is the fact that it seems like Mattel and Disney rushed to get this product out because there's definitely some weird malfunctions in this toy. It's incredibly loud. It's a very, very noisy toy. I'm not talking about his little sounds. I'm talking about the actual mechanics. It's very noisy and it's very clunky. Other than that, we're moving on to the Baby Yoda Mattel plushie. So this was the first major Baby Yoda toy to come out. It came out, I think, around May of 2020. And the pros with him is he's very, very cute, very fluffy. He is fun to cuddle. Uh, and he's also the cheapest out of the three. So I think this one's about $25 compared to $69.99 here for the Disney Parks and $59.99 for the Hasbro. So if you are on a budget and you really want a cute Baby Yoda to, uh, to hang around with you, this one is definitely the best option. And of course the cons are he doesn't really do very much except just sit here. There's, uh, there's nothing on the bottom here. There's, there's no animatronic features or anything like that. And like I said, if you're on a budget, this is definitely the way to go. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys my favorite one out of the three. If I could only pick one Baby Yoda to keep, it would be the Hasbro Baby Yoda animatronic. Hasbro did a great job and I really love the nap mode. Definitely go check out my uh, full review if you guys are interested in looking at the Hasbro one. And then number two, I probably would pick the Disney Parks one if you have the money for it and you can look past the really loud clunky animatronic noises that it makes. And of course, I still love my Mattel plushie. Fantastic for the price if you're on a budget. This is definitely the way to go. But other than that, that is my comparison of the Mattel plushie, Disney Parks, Remote Control Animatronic, and Hasbro Baby Yoda Animatronic. Hope you guys enjoyed that. But anyway, let's go ahead and wrap up the review for this little guy. So overall, do I think this is a good Baby Yoda toy to bring home with you? I would say yes. He does have some really cool features and I do like the remote that it comes with. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also hitting that subscribe button if you are into Star Wars and horror and just all things pop culture. That's what we do on the channel. Also, let me know in the comments below if you're planning on picking up this Disney Parks Baby Yoda animatronic or if you guys are going to go pick out the, uh, the Hasbro one instead or the Mattel plushie, let me know. May the force be with you and I'll see you guys in the next one.